Hello, welcome back to On Living Well. Today I wanted to talk about just starting or why you might be waiting to do something that you've always wanted to do and I want to encourage you to find ways to just start. So if you're watching, you've been thinking about starting that hobby, starting that side hustle, starting that camping trip, whatever it might be, I want to encourage you to do it and pursue it. I guess I should start by saying, as always, with this channel, we talk about living intentionally. And by that, usually I mean by putting priorities in order and straight, first and foremost. So you need to kind of dig deep and see if whatever this project, idea, job is, aligns well with your priorities, first and foremost, because you might find it's something you shouldn't do if it doesn't align with your priorities. So do a deep check on that first. And if it's definitely something that maybe you're married, your wife says you should start, or maybe you have kids and it's not the best time, but as long as it aligns well with your priorities and caring for the things that matter and putting your priorities list in the right order first, we can move on to the next part of this video, which is, just some perspective, I think. I once was meeting with a small business development thing here in my hometown when I had my own company and I was we were actually making content for them for their social media channels and marketing vehicles and stuff like that. And we, we talked a lot about starting a small business and what that looks like and we were in those kind of conversations. And I remember bringing a little case study, I don't know what you'd call it, a situation of one of my old friends who had always wanted to, to do something on YouTube or content creation or start his own business. And he was very passionate about a particular industry. And I remember bringing it to the small business development people and saying like, this is what he deals with, right? He, he works a really hard job. He doesn't love his job. So he comes home at the end of a long day and the last thing he wants to do is work more, right? Start that business, do the research, that kind of thing. And so he chooses to just relax each night and just wish that he could be doing that other thing. And what she said was really cool and it has stuck with me ever since. And it's the perspective. So this is almost the perfect situation for this. And I talked about it some in my last video about a career and a career path and picking a job you hate so that the whole time you're working it, you're thinking about that other thing you wish you could be doing. She said, you might be tired at the end of a long day of doing a job that you don't like, but what will give you more life and energy than working on the thing that you're super passionate about? And I think that's where kind of the idea of this video comes around is if you just start, whatever that looks like. Let's say it's starting a new hobby, right? There's some things you need to buy. There's some research you might need to do, whatever it might be, right? Take, starting today, say after work today, when I have my downtime, I'm going to take only five minutes, just five minutes. That's it. And I'm going to work on this project. Think about if you only worked on something for five minutes each day for 365 days. 365 times five, whatever that number is. Think about how many hours a year you could put into that new project, that new idea. And here's the thing, by just starting, I agree with the advice that I received those years ago where you sit down and start working on something you're passionate about it will not, one, it will not feel like work. And two, it will give you energy. It will give you life, right? So the idea of just taking even five minutes out of your day, out of your week to explore that thing you're passionate about, that opportunity with no sort of repercussions, right? Like say you spend five minutes a day on it for a month and you find, you know what? This is a little bit more than I thought it would be. Or you know what, maybe this isn't for me, or maybe it helps you narrow down exactly what it is you would like to be doing, whatever it is. Again, if it's a hobby, if it's a small business, if it's loving your family better, if whatever it might be, right? And I think one of the best first steps is with all the knowledge you currently have on whatever it is, taking five minutes to sort of lay out a plan, your, your end goal, maybe your short-term goals, action steps on how you're gonna get there, 
and just lay that out. And I think by putting that plan of action down on paper, on a note on your computer, whatever it might be, will just encourage you to take those bite-sized steps, those baby steps to, to reach that end goal, that, that thing you're looking to do. Planning out will help you get excited. It'll help give you focus. It'll help you to say, okay, great. Well, next week, when I take my five minutes out of my day, I need to start working on this thing. I need to set up that website. I need to buy that new bicycle, whatever it is, right? And I, I just think the big picture of this video and this concept is you are sort of your biggest competitor, your biggest competition, the biggest thing holding you back. And if you literally just start, I think you'll find things will snowball in the right direction. It's hard when you have this big idea that you would love to do, but that's all it is. It's just a big idea you'd love to do because every night when you come home from a long day of work, you don't feel like working. You feel like playing video games, chilling on the couch, watching TikTok, watching Netflix, right? You can't imagine the amount of work that's going to have to go into it. Yeah, it would be fun, but I don't have four hours a day to commit to this or whatever you in your mind you think it would take. Just start. And that's kind of all I have to say for this video. I think you're the one postponing yourself, right? You're the one holding yourself back. And if you just start and take those baby steps, I think you'll find things do snowball. I think you'll find you'll get excited to get home from work at the end of the day to catch that second wind and you'll find fulfillment and joy in whatever that thing is. That's sort of one example, but I hope you can relate to that. And hopefully this encourages you to, to pick up that pen, to open up your computer, to buy that thing that you need to grab those running shoes to get that business license whatever whatever you need to do but yeah again wrapping up here pull it back to the very beginning i will say no matter how much joy you feel you're finding in this thing if it's not aligning well with your priorities there are going to be things outside of you that will be in your way of doing these things so really make sure it's fitting into your priority list well. Anyway, that does it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you were encouraged in some way. Let me know in the comments, have you started something new? Have you been wanting to start something new and you just haven't? Let me know what's what's blocking you from doing that. Maybe there are real, real things that are blocking you from starting that thing. I'd love to discuss them with you. One of my favorite things in life is to talk with people who are passionate about something and they want to start on it, they want to figure out how to explore it, but they they feel they don't have the time or the resources or they feel they're not smart enough or they don't have enough training to do that thing. I love talking through that with folks, so I'd be happy to do that with you as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.